last year at ISD conference, I saw um, a person named Brandon Lutz, and he did 60, what, 60 and 60 minutes. And so I was like, wow, 60 and 60 minutes. And so then what actually I did was, um, I actually connected with him afterwards on Twitter, and I made them all into bookmarks for him on this website that I'll show you in a little bit called Symbaloo. And then I kind of kept tweeting it out, and eventually he's like, hey, can you put my name on that? Hey, can you do this? And I think I'm actually, he's going to send me his list early, and I'm actually going to make one up for him that he'll present at this one. So it's kind of a weird little thing. But I decided I'd give my own 30 useful web tools. Now, I, I'll give you my background. I'm, I'm a fourth grade teacher, but I just yesterday accepted an ed tech job in my same school district in Austin. So I'm pretty excited that, you know, after 17 years, I went to do like report cards and <laughs> conferences and all that stuff. But um, this, so I mean, I've, uh, it's interesting, but um, I'm, I'm very excited and I love going through and doing all these kinds of things. So okay, I'll show you some and then hopefully you can go through. So um, there's my, I do have a website, it's ipadsavvy.com if you want to go there. And I will tell you in advance that I have, I will be able to provide you, like you can write this stuff down furiously and you can play with the websites if you want to as I'm going. But I do have it all in a nice little list for you that I'll be happy to give out to you in a, se in a second afterwards. I actually brought, I only bring my iPad usually, but I brought some, uh, somebody let me borrow their computer real quick. So I made up a little list for you. So you'll have all these bookmarked and ready to go whenever you want to try them. So you can write them down if you want to, whatever you feel comfortable with, but I do have it for you. And it's actually one of the sites that I'm showing. So, oh, and I do have this. I have business cards back there if you want to, because I'm trying to staff develop. So I'm from Austin, but I think I'm going to Bonamize the this summer, and I'm also going to Paris, Arkansas, and doing a keynote there as well. So if you like, if your district needs like iPad staff development, that's really my specialty. But I'll show you this one, and hopefully you can be like, oh, okay, he knows a little bit about what to do. Not like this hard. And then there's my uh, general sympathy picture with my kids, <laughs> and uh, we have one more that's due on the first day of school. Um, so that'll be great. We have four kids almost now, <laughs> and that's awesome. Oh, it was, <laughs> that was good. All right. So here's the first one I'm going to show you. Now, this is one I just learned about, and it's interesting, and it's called Kim Tag, and I can also tweet this one out. For, how many people are on Twitter, by the way, just so I can kind of get a gauge? Okay. I'll give you my, for people that aren't, I'll give you my Twitter lecture later. Like, I'll, I'll talk to you very sternly and stuff. So, no, I'm just kidding. But, um, <laughs> so anyway, but um, Kim Tag is an interesting one because it'll do stuff that looks like this for you. And what it does is, it just gives you kind of a little generic site where you can put all of your different links and different things on there. So for mine, I have my Twitter ID, I have my website, and I have my Pinterest. And so that way, if I come to a conference, I can just tweet this out to people. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, well, there's all the guy's stuff. Because I've got, you know, uh, I, like any red-blooded male, I have a Pinterest account right up there on the top. But I mean, um, you know, so um, who doesn't? But um, so I have like scuba pages, which I will also show you in a second that are um, pretty decent, and um, I, I'm up to, um, to um, 2,200 followers on Twitter now because I'll sit there and I'll share different links from these websites. So I like this one, it's called Kim Tag, and um, this will be the first time at a conference using it, so I think it's kind of cool. All right, now my second one, and you've all probably heard of this, is Edmodo, and then number two, I, I've been using Edmodo for three years with Classroom now. Now the things I think they're important, some people don't like Edmodo, but the things I think are important is all these things I'm showing you are free, so that's you can't beat that price. And then I think that really for me, responsible social networking is going to be a huge one because I used to teach up in Alaska, and when I taught up in Alaska, it was the whole MySpace kind of thing. And I remember I had my MySpace page, what was it, 2003, 2004, whatever. And then I started to see some of my kids on there that were fifth and sixth graders, and just some of the horrible stuff that they would post, where I would kind of come in and I would go like, Hey, Art J, you gotta, you gotta take that down about, you know, and I have to go and talk to them. And I couldn't believe how, like, how much they were like cyber bullying people and things. Now, if you have Edmodo number one, I can give you a good example of, of a bad thing that just happened on Edmodo right at the end of the summer, actually, which is 